So, hello, could you tell me your name, please? Okay, my name is Dennis Mwanza, and I work for the Sustainable Water and Sanitation in Africa, which is a USA-funded regional program. Okay, could you show me your badge, please, so I get my it on badge. film? Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's the... Uh, so a oh, so a there we go, yeah. Dennis. Yes. <laughs> so, you, because we talked yesterday, uh, we had a discussion where you said that you wanted water utilities to become autonomous. Could you explain what you mean by that? Okay, I think the, what we should be talking about uh, is the sustainability of urban water and sanitation services. And uh, there's a bigger chance, a greater chance of achieving this if we have autonomous water utilities. What it means is that uh, uh, utilities should be given the opportunity to make management as well as financial decisions without needing to uh, wait for influence or interference, maybe from the political systems. And, and you think that water utilities can learn a lot from the private sector, right? Well, you know, the, we can learn a lot from the private sector because what do private sector uh, do? Uh, they aim for increasing profits uh, through efficiency gains. Now, what we are proposing is not necessarily that utilities must aim to make profits. Uh, if they do, well and good, and that should be reinvested into the water sector. All we are saying is that we must have efficient and effective utilities. And we can only achieve those if we use business approaches in running water utilities in Africa. Okay, and so that's not the same thing as privatization It's water. not the same thing about uh, with privatization and a lot of people have mixed this up and there's so much misunderstanding about this, uh, sometimes it becomes so emotional. And I must say that that is not the aim. Let us be objective in our discussions and our debate in terms of engagement with the private sector. All we are saying is that how can we better improve services uh, in, our, uh, in our areas? Actually, it's not only in Africa, it's global. This issue of private privatization is a global, uh, global debate. But that is not the, that's not the issue. Okay. So have you, uh, is this discussion present here in Cape Town? today? We No, we had it yesterday actually. Uh, quite a number of people uh, came up and said, well, you're talking about, we are talking about privatizing water, you're going to uh, sell it to the private people, international guys are going to come and take our water, the poor people will not afford. And what I, the message I have for all of us is that uh, let's not discuss that. Let us discuss ways and means we're going to improve service delivery. If we are going to involve the private sector in the terms of achieving our objectives, well and good. And there's got to be strong regulatory mechanisms to ensure that the worries that are being expressed, which I must say are genuine, and uh, you know are kind of gotten rid of. That is the, the point. So it's all about finding ways to make water distribution more efficient and affordable. We're talking for, about yeah. making water available, uh, affordable, even to the poor, and uh, you know the. There are a lot of studies. Even this morning, there was a quotation that uh, the poor are paying 20 times. I found the message from the Secretary General of the UN uh, was saying that the, the poor are paying 20 times than uh, the rich. And why is that? Because they buy water from the private vendors. What we are saying is that if water is actually piped, it will even be much cheaper than this 20 times. The tariffs, we were talking about increasing tariffs to achieve cost recovery. But that new tariff is still far much lower than if they were paying uh, from the water vendors. Okay. So thank you very much. And uh, have a nice well water day. Well, thank time. you so much. It's been very good and I really appreciate this. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.